Hi, welcome to a Get Start tutorial of Adicio. Now I am on the teacher account. Remind that you can use Adicio on a web version using any browser, but at the same time you have the tablet and smartphone native applications in which you can work completely offline. If you work offline, remind that here on the mobile devices you will have an option that is not shown on the web version, which is synchronize. Once you synchronize the data, you will be able to use also the web version with everything that you have at without internet connection on the mobile devices. Here is the main menu in which you have the different groups. Here you have the tool for creating didactic planning and projects. If you have the communication, here you have a direct access, and below there are the different assessment tools. Those are the main options. The first step is to create a new group before I show you the group biology. Here I have an example of a gradebook with the different categories and the different columns on it. Let's go to Evaluation and Groups and click the plus button to create a new group. I have added a class group and a starting date and ending date of this class group. Now I can set up the timetable. Here, for example, I do classes on Wednesday from 10 to 11 every week. A group, it has been created. Now I have the option to import students. I have different options as base group if I work a school from Excel, which is the most recommended. Also, I have Google Classroom and from the three dots, also Microsoft Teams and Moodle or from existing group. Let's do it importing via Excel file. This model screen is shown and I click select file. I have select an Excel file from my computer. This doesn't have any specific order on the columns. I click import students and here you will see how easy it is to create a new group. By a drag and drop, I can select the specific field of a detail and link it to the field that I have on my Excel file. By linking the different data, once I finish to link the data, I click Import Students and OK. The group, it has been set up super fast. The system provides me the first steps in order to guide me how to proceed. If I click here on students, I can import students and pictures. By clicking facial recognition, I can select a picture. Here I have select a picture of a football team. It could be the group of students that you have on your class. Once click next, the system automatically cuts the face of each student in a smart way. Here I select each student and the photo which it belongs to them and click import. As you have seen, everything is completely linked. Now I can start making formative assessment. Here I could say that are activities. I can select the type of evaluation. Instead of clicking directly one of these types, I would rather organize my gradebook by categories. I click save and this is the first category activities. So I can go here and put test one 
type of evaluation and for example from the different ones and value selector. Once this is done, I am starting grading. It could be numerically, textually, by icons, by rubrics. There are many, many kinds of ways to assess in a DT. For example, here I have a way in which I have different ranges for the levels of mastery. One of the next steps is to drag the attendance of my class group. By clicking here, I just go on attendance. I click the plus button and automatically everyone has attend to this class. I click here and from the different options that I have preset, when I sign up or the new ones that I have customized, I can select the ones that are linked for what the student has done on the attendance. Here I have a quick summary that I can see for each student and a filter that I can apply. Going back to the group biology, you will see that here I have a structure of different categories and different activities that are linked to this category on the gradebook. Also, I have activated this group to assess by skills and standards. When I click here, I can link each activity with the skill that I've been working on this assignment or task. By clicking on scheduling, I can create my lesson plans, attach files, link with the skills and standards, and see what I have programmed by the next session or unit. You will be discovering also the didactic planning tool. Here I can create the curricular concretion, the skills and criteria that it's aligned and the learning task and make a complete and robust lesson planning and from the different project sessions units that I am doing on my class. Finally, for the first steps, you have on the web version the option reports that allows you to create customized reports. You can organize your gradebook with different tabs. Here I can create a new tab that it could be STEM. Now you see that you have this new tab, first term, when you go to first tab, you have the other one. You can create as many as you want. Also, on others, you have different options, like the sitting plan, which allows you to see how the different students are sitting in class. Or you have the random student selector, that allows you to define which students to ask the next question. On this section, assessment tools, you can create your own types of evaluation. There is a tool for creating rubrics, also for creating quizzes. You will see many other options that are available for improving your classroom management. Here, it ends the tutorial of the first steps 